G'day reefers, I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Welcome to Gallery Aquatica TV. So here we are at Reef Stock. We're bringing up our gear. We've got our oxygen bottle. We've got some very beautiful nems in here and some corals. So we're just getting our booth set up. So we'll go in there and get started. So we've got some expensive coral on this next shipment, so we have to make sure we don't crash this dolly. It's very easy to crash these things. Oh! Ah. All right. So we've got our tank, and there's a few things left inside it. We've got water, there's water in this. So this is water out of one of the aquariums in our propagation room. Uh, we've got the filter. We've started taking a few of the things else upstairs. What we do have to get out is we have a massive uh, esky full of coral. So uh, Tom, I'm going to back the car up. Everything has traveled perfectly. So we have four frag racks, uh, two across and two high. You can see all our zoas. The water quality looks good. Oh, the temperature is perfect. The snails are alive. So I'll put the ute back in and let's get it upstairs. So this is the part that I'm most worried about, getting the tank upstairs. So we have our trolley, and to fit in through the elevator doors, the plan is to stand the tank up. Now, the tank is five foot long, so standing on end, it will be, so that's five foot there. So we've got about one inch of space. So we'll see if we can do it. But if we break the tank, that is game over for Reef Stock 2019 for Gallery Aquatica. Ready? Ready? Here we go. Heaps of room. Hooray. What are you worrying for? Gallery Aquatica is still in Reef Stock 2019. <laughs> so this could possibly rock. So one person might have to hold it. Yeah, that's fine. That's you? Yeah. So our tank is five feet long by two feet wide by less than one foot deep. Now, if we break this, as I said, it's game over, apart from the fact that we do have a spare tank, but it's back in Brisbane, 1,000 kilometers north. So we still have to get this onto the table and full with water without breakages. Good morning, sir. How are you? Good, how are you? It's good, I'm buddy, Jake. Just moving fish tanks, you know, <laughs> my everyday job. So last year, our tank was significantly smaller than this one, and we were a little bit concerned that the table wasn't necessarily strong enough to take the weight. So with the bigger tank, I'm going to ensure that it is sound and secure with using some props that I'm going to cut to put underneath. Now, the reason why I'm most excited about this is because I have my Leatherman and I have the opportunity to use a tool that I've never used before. And it is 
This, no. 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 Uh oh. Here. My saw. <laughs> so I'm going to saw this with my Leatherman and put hopefully two uh, props to ensure that this tank is well and truly safe and is not going to crack. So let's get to that. Okay, it's our last screw out of our secret weapon today and that is the background to our tank. It's pretty special. So this is actually going to be lit up with LEDs that are going to flash a variety of colours. It's going to sit behind the tank and it's going to look sensational. So this is the first 80 litres of the 200 that we have to bring up for our fish tank, our reef tank. And so we have water that we've taken from uh, an existing system and we also have got a filter that we've had running on the same system. So we should have good strong biological filtration but having the canister filter also gives us the versatility of being able to add whatever media we want. So we've got carbon and polyfilter and a variety of other things as well. So this should keep us, uh, our tank clean and clear through the whole event. So we're finally getting our stand together and as you can see we have the tank with our Kessel's lighting, we've got an anemone box and this is the next exciting thing, the anemones we put in here are going to be sensational. Uh, we've got some of our dry stock on our shelf coming together, uh, everything's branded Gallery Aquatica, we've got our stubby holders and our fish food strainers. I'm putting together the filter now, it's going to be tucked away underneath. Um, but it's all coming together, so uh, stay tuned and we'll, uh, we'll talk again next when the water is in the tank and we start putting the corals in. We've done a brilliant thing and we've brought some coral sand out of one of our tanks at the propagation room and we're going to use it to put in our anemone tank so that the anemones don't jump off their rock but it's probably a bit dirty and we want to keep our tank as crystal clear as possible. So we're going to give it a quick rinse and we're going to use water out of the drums that we took from the propagation, propagation room. So here we go, a very special moment. We have the first 10 litre bucket of water going into our tank. So we're still filling up drums of water into the tank. So we've got a little bit of a system here. Rory does the tipping. I do the decanting. It's beautiful. We've filled our tank and we're at the point of setting up the filter. So we've got to start the prime and to do so, I'm going to suck on the outlet. That should be it, keeping it away from the power point. We have power! Alright, so I'll know it's starting if I see bubbles coming out of here. Excellent. So it's priming, now all we need to do is wait for it to prime and uh, plug it in. So for this event, we're going to be using an inline heater. Now I've just turned it on, our water is at 13 degrees, we need to get it up to 25 degrees before we can put our coral in. So having the inline heater is hopefully going to speed up the uh, warming of the water, but most importantly it's going to be hiding the power cable underneath the tank so everything is a little bit neater up top. So we have our tank full of water but we have one problem. The water in the tank is freezing cold. It was 13 degrees and we're slowly heating it up. We're at 19 degrees now. 
but we're, we're gonna have to put the corals in. So we're doing a bit of a water transfer between our esky with the corals and the tank. So we have our man under the table, he's gonna turn the pump on and we're gonna pump water from the esky into the tank. All right, go Tom. At last year's reef stock, we took over 400 frags individually bagged, and it was an absolute nightmare to bag them up, to bring them up, and then to open them, put them in the tank. So this year, we've done something significantly better. We have our frag racks in an esky, and hopefully we'll be able to pull out the whole frag rack and drop them in place without any of the frags coming off. This is the first four of six racks. So we have two more that we're going to open up in a sec and put into the tank. But before we do that, we're going to open up all of our Rose BTAs. And once we've done that, we'll have another look at the tank and we'll show you how it looks. So I'm just opening up some of our Rose BTAs so that I can make a bit of space so that we can finish off the other two racks in here. So these BTAs are really special anemones and we've been cultivating these over the last two years, especially for this event. So we're lucky to have a few available. Look at this one. Sensational. So good. So the idea is that by having the sand in the anemone paddock, Hopefully, they'll stay on their rock and they won't wander around too much. So they should present very well. We've got all of our Rose BTAs in the tank and they look absolutely sensational. Uh, happily, pretty much all of them, all but one, have uh, stuck to the rock and so it's going to be very easy to sell these as individual units. There is actually one rock which has two on it so that might be a special deal for someone. But uh, they're looking really good and I couldn't be happier with it. These are the last two frag racks. We've got five minutes before the doors open, so we're just getting every last thing done. We've got our booth all sorted, and as you can see, we've got a heap of frags. We've got a thousand spots and probably about 700 actual frags, but most importantly, we have our Rose BTAs, and we have a little Rose BTA farm over here. We've got our paddock, and we have 11 BTAs. Uh, a couple have already sold, but they're all looking really happy and really healthy. 
So I think we're ready to do this. Anya will be here any minute. She's flown in from Brisbane this morning. But let's go to the door and watch as the crowd comes through.
welcome to day two of Reefstock 2019. And we had a massive day yesterday. We've sold a lot of stock, but we've still got heaps left. So let's just have a quick look at the stock that we still have available. We've got so many Monty and Bird's Nest and Zoas, Leptastria, Leptocirrus, Cyphastria, Samacora. The stock is looking really, really good. And unfortunately, we have sold all of our Rose BTAs. They've gone really quickly but hopefully we'll have some more available at the shop at Gallery Aquatica. So the people are gonna come through the door any minute now to get day two started. So uh, we'll show you how we go for the rest of the day. But anyway, let's get to it, Reefstock 2019.
So that's our video for today. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, hit the subscribe as well. We'll be putting out videos every week showing a, a new tank with new products. There's gonna be lots in all the videos. I'm Cam the Fish Guy, and keep on reefing.